Hi, this is Eric Martin, Porky Geek. I'm here with John Zinzer from Alderac Entertainment Group, looking at Space Base by John D. Clare. Good morning. Like designer on staff now. Not no, quite. Not quite. Not, not, but, not quite. But uh, John's a neighbor. He lives down the street. It's awfully nice to have a, a game designer that you love on speed dial <laughs> and get in your car and just go to his house and, and play games. So. Which is why, perhaps, John mentioned. I, I just played Space Space for the first time yesterday. We played twice in a row. Very cool, very much my style. Talk to John, he's like, Yeah, I played it 150 times. Yeah, I'm still loving it. So, I, I know game company this. owners are not supposed to have favorite games, but um, <laughs> this right now is my favorite game, there's no doubt. Okay, so we've, we're set up here a few turns into In, the game. Yes, absolutely. Okay, I mean, talk about over sure. the goals of what we're trying to do and what we built up here. So in, in Space Base, every player has a Space Base, and inside of that Space Base they have 12 ships. Uh, those ships are the ships that are going to be active when you're rolling the dice on your turn. Uh, I've just recently started thinking about Space Bases. Um, you, you're, you're building two tableaus or two engines, right? You're building the tableau that you use on your turn, and then the cards up top, these are spaceships that have been launched out into space, you'll be using those cards on other players' turns. The way the, um, the way the basic game of Space Base works is that you roll two dice, and then um, if you're the roller of the dice, you have the option to either take the seven, or you can split those dice up and take the four and the three. So in this case, uh, I would get a three gold if I took the seven, so I could take three gold, or if I split those up, I could take one gold, and I would be able to charge this card, which is a special card that allows you to move the total of the dice. Um, but I'm not going to use charged. my charge, so I'm just going to go over here and take my seven, and then take my three gold. Now, oh, go ahead. Did you say something? So, um, the sort of magic of the game is that that same roll um, gets to activate player ships from other of all the other players. So they get to do the same thing on their activated ship. So if this was a second player, let's say, I'm gonna change the roll, and we rolled a, a nine, um, they would be able to take those dice and activate their nine and get three gold on your turn when you're rolling the dice, or the five and the four, and they'd be able to get four gold. So they would take the five and the four and they would move their gold up four places. And another player might use the nine, and another, another player might use the nine, else, another player might totally gap and miss on that turn because they're stacking up cards on one uh, on, on one location. Uh, as you'll note, so that after you've rolled the dice and after you've sort of gotten all of your goods, and these are the these are the three things that you're these are your three sources of, of income here. You've got uh, gold, which you're going to use to buy cards from from the center area. Uh, you've got income, and uh, what income does is this means that this is the minimum amount of money you will have at the beginning of the turn after you've spent your money. Uh, and then blue is victory points, and the game ends when somebody reaches 40 victory points. So you're always wanting to be looking at ways to get victory points. So I've got 12 gold on my turn. I'm going to look out here. I know that uh, the cards out here have a 13 or 14 or 15 gold cost in the second row, so I'm probably shopping in the middle row here. Um, I like those victory points that cost eight gold. So I'm gonna buy this card that goes into my eight spot. It's gonna go there, and then we're gonna launch the card that was in the eight spot that goes up. I have to spend all of my money. Comes back down to zero. But then it resets to three because my income is three. We replace this card, and it would be the next player's turn to roll the dice. Um, I mean, you've played it a couple of times now, you know that, that while you're playing the game, um, the, the engines on both sides of the board ramp up in a really nice way. And yes. At the end of the game, everybody is invested in a few certain numbers that they want to have come up. That's right. Uh, your lottery, like pulling, the, pulling the lever and hoping to get things. Uh, some of the cards have special powers as well. Like you absolutely. mentioned, this one can uh, let you adjust the sum of the dice, yep. raise it by one. You got a card which activates the things next to it. Which so activates the things you next to it. Set up conditions here. Oh, you guys put the you win card out there. Everybody yes. loves that one. That's right. So the card in the game that says you win, um, you'll notice we've got it set up here on the on, on the, the on the twelve spot, and we've got a couple of arrows here that move the roll of the dice to the twelve. So one of the great things that John did in this game, I think, is that he put. Um, 
is that he put uh, ways for you to manipulate your dice rolls as the game progresses. So in this setup, um, I could roll an eight, actually. Uh, I could roll, I should roll a nine. Sorry, I could roll a nine. Uh, I have a charge token on this, which allows me to make that a 10. My 10s becomes 11s, my 11s become 12s, and that would allow me to put a charge token on the U win card. If I can get the U win card charged up with three tokens in a four or five, uh, in a four or five player four or five game, player game yeah. then uh, then I automatically win the game, and it is surprisingly. Um, hard to do, and everybody's <laughs> eyes light up when they see that card and they try to do it. But living out there on the 12, you've got to get your engine built pretty well to make it happen. Right. So, and you just have uh, strict points cards as well that then shut down part of your space base. Absolutely. So as the game progresses, your your economic engine starts to grow, and at some point, um, players start to shut down their gates, and so they you might have 24 gold up here. Um, you can spend all of that gold to get one of these gates and put that on this spot. Now, for the rest of the game, if you go early to get those victory points, you would get eight victory points for that. But now when you roll um, when you roll a six, that is not going to be helpful for you any longer. That basically means that you don't get anything for that, but you still get the, the values of the ships that you've launched on other players' turns. Yeah, okay. And keep going until somebody gets 40. You keep going until somebody gets 40. Everybody gets to play an equal number of turns. So there are actually quite a few games where somebody reaches 40 or goes over, and then everybody sort of has a chance to catch them if the dice fall the right way. Okay. It's my kind of game. So. Yeah. Thank you, John. All right. Your review. Space base. Thanks, guys.